Hello everyone, this is your pitiful gaming mom, bringing you another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So today, we are going to work on that Margaret mission. That's the first thing we're going to do, mission-wise. Before that, we see this one. Idiot. <laughs> That's my boy. Just markers, but there's nothing that's not. What? What cargo are you bringing through here? Easy there. Okay there, boy. I'm trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal... Hey! Let the man go. You're gonna have yourselves a problem. This ain't no slack-jaw outfit. Move in now! There's some lead with your 
name oh, on it. God. Glad I weren't the target. Thank you for your help. No problem. So you allowed to let the breed run you over with your wagon. Oh, I'm Come on, here. Hey, boy. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, mm -hmm. now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. All right. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. Yep, that's what we're calling. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like... like blood to me. There we go. Shit, what's this? Found your dog. X dog, X line. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripy. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Oh. Huh? The, the other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in.
All right. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh... I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? Uh-huh. Uh guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Move. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope. One day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on huh. how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Hey there! We lost the main road around here. Well, hey. When the dust was up, be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but... When the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Some of them. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. <laughs> found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy ape king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked yeah. her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway line, or are you going to pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the line? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So... I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful sure I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. All right. How far is that from where we are? We're gonna finish this one off. Go get this lion.
I'm not running down a cliff that's gonna kill us. You okay, boy? That's a dog in there. A dog? No. Nah. A dog? You excuse me. Step aside. That's what I heard. Of what? I said step aside. Definitely thinks it's a, didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. It's an awfully big sounding dog. Look what you've done. Where'd it go? Look what you've done. Take care of this. I wish you want to take care of it all right. Sweet mother. Yeah, that's definitely not a dog. Not a dog. Easy, boy. Easy. Shit! Oh, it got me. Things are gone. Yep, it's gone. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. <laughs> yeah, got that right.
just returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man-eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I know. A knew. goose? will hardly get them to their feet <coughs> for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rommel, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and huh? we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All in good time, my dear. All right. Got that one. Let's go meet up with Hosea. Let's go, boy. Yep. Okay, then. Look okay, at this, the same house. We've already been in twice. Stranger, these raiders are insane. Tell me about it. Cussing cur. Easy, boy. All right. Yeah. Help somebody else out. That's always nice. Hey, mister! Hey there! You! So far, so good out here. Just admiring your horse there. You shouldn't fool around like that. <laughs> that's my boy. Just saved his life. Yeah, and that's you're how all he right there, boy.
see. Okay there, boy. There we go. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. All right. See I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Yeah, we'll see about that. On the road, Arthur. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May the I speak with her? I want lady. to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard I'm the sure man. You Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> no it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. Give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. 
Uh -huh. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. Fun times. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Yeah, no, no not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Uh -uh. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're... Inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You know you're, how I feel about that. You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. <laughs> you're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Yeah. Put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Oops. Broke the fence. What? Broke poor Mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't uh, get mad now. Jose, funny. Got the break all in his bottles. Robbery. Okay, Fenton, stay calm. Check that. Oh, it's just a train. Ow! For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow <laughs> me. <laughs> We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says, give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gave two dollars to go away. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. 
Now come on to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Billy. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift for sending out. When I see a gift for sending out, oh, that's some strong stuff. Let's keep it going. Don't catch us all. Go drink up. Don't be shy, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about it. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. oh. I want Shit. both those sons of bitches dead! See them. Well, don't shoot them. I got them. You pair of bastards! Look out on your right! On the right? Hide this Arthur, coming out of the alley! You think we wouldn't
hard. Behind you! They hit the moonshine! Your fools are playing! over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertised. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. No, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now... Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
I'm sure he does. Let's see what we got going on. For you. Long day, Arthur. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You, you boys mind if I sit down a while? <sighs> been a tough few weeks. And you won't get yours. I know I've been kind of mad with you all. What in the world? I got it all stuck together. I'm sorry, okay. okay? Suit yourself. I'm sorry, but I... I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just... Find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch, same as Jose. I don't want to die. Have a seat by the fire, Arthur. All of you. Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Oh, give me a chocolate bar.
for myself. station. hour mark right about so we're gonna go ahead and save it here and come back next time in the same spot at camp and then we'll decide from there which one of those missions we want to go with so until next time everybody have a good night good day good week good morning and we'll see y'all later. Bye.